Hello, lovely viewers. You are welcome once again to Rona 360. Thank you so much for your support, for supporting this channel. If today is your first time, consider subscribing and also click on the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time we drop a video. Don't forget to also like and share this video. Rona 360 is all about the arts, culture, and TV. Today, I am taking you all the way to the eastern part of of the people's republic of ghana yes we are going to the eastern region and in the eastern region we are going precisely to the new Jabi municipality we are going to yadom shidia palace a palace which is as old as 1924 if you are ready for the news from that palace let's go <music> So like I indicated, I am taking you to the Yia Domshidia Palace in the new Jabim municipality. This palace was built in 1924. It is located at Srodai in Kufuridria, the capital of the eastern region of Ghana. In this palace, we will meet the new Jabin Mahini, the paramount chief of the new Jabin traditional area, who goes by the name Nanakwe Kubwatin II. He is a very new chief. In fact, he is a 51-year-old business mugo who goes by the name of this year, John Kwejo Yebua Jemfi. And he is the one succeeding the Omahini of New Japan, the late Dasebre Professor Emeritus Oti Boatin, who passed on and joined the ancestors some few years ago. You see, for those who do not know much about the New Japan people, of the people of Ghana or in the eastern region, let me use this opportunity to throw a little historical light on the new Jabin people. The new Jabin was established by the Ashanti refugees from the Second Ashanti Union Jabin War, Jabin Civil War. Yes, it was. The, these are residue or remnants of the refugees from the Ashanti region. If, uh, that's you know, settled there as a result of the Ashanti New Jabin Civil War. Now, by 1874, the two largest towns in the Ashanti Union were Kumase and Jabin. These are rival siblings who took over the relationship between Jabin and Kumase. So, after Se Ganet, the, the Se Ganet War, Jabin, together with Asokore, Efijasi and Insuta, succeeded from the Ashanti Union War. Now, while Kumasi was able to purchase arms from the coast, Jabin had no such chance. So, due to the partial ban on the sale of arms by the colonial government. So, what happened was so amazing. Now, because they ran out of ammunition and were unable to repel the Ashanti Union army, the people of Jabin and their neighboring towns led by three strong prominent chiefs that is Asafu Ejei the Jabenhini and Anka Chemfo Asokorehini and Yao Omani Efijasehini these three warrior chiefs Asafu Ejei he was the then Jabenhini the Anka Chemfo he was also the Asokorehini and then Yao Omani the Efijasehini these three came together and fought the Ashanti Union Army at Achimebuakwa for the second time in 1875. So the first war was in 1874. And then these guys, these chiefs, realizing the resilience and still persuasion of the Ashanti Union Army, they went to war with them again in October 1875. They had now, after the war, you know, for every war, there will be refugees. So, the, the huge refugee population that came as a result of the war was becoming a problem for the people. So, it resulted that these people who have been the refugees of these wars should be settled. They should give a place for them so that they can settle down. Now, I remember one governor, Governor Sanford Freeling, in 1878, he was very key in helping 
to settle these refugees from this war. And he helped to secure a, 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 a very big piece of land that was owned by the stool of Kokorintumi. And that land is what we now call as the new Jabin. The settlers initially formed communities based on their place of origin in old Jabin. Those from Asokore agreed and settled in Kukufuria Asokore. Those from Asante Oyoko agreed and settled in Ayoko in the new Jabin now Kufodio or Ayoko. Those who were from Efijase also came together and also settled in Kufodua Efijase. And then those who were from Oyoko and the other Okurase and all these people, you know, came together and then settled. So that is just the brief history about Jabin people. Warriors, brave people and the paramount chief the new paramount chief 51 year old businessman is called the Sebre Nana Kwakubuaten the third now because the chief who had led the, the people that is the Sebre professor emeritus Uti Buaten went to sleep and joined the ancestors and they installed a new chief the queen mother also passed on some years ago so they had to install a queen mother and the beauty of the tradition and the beauty of the family and the beauty of what happened from the year from the palace is that Nana Kwakubuaten the third or the assembly Nana Kwakubuaten the third the new man here of the new Jaben people appointed his own sister as the new queen mother so that she can be by his side and help rule and manage the new Jaben let's go and watch the, the video Rich tradition, rich culture. <laughs> Madame <laughs> <laughs> Madame Hey, Gabin Sewa at Not <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
kindly subscribe please type in the comment section and tell us what you also so think about the video share we will meet one, one more time as usual i'll always end by saying don't abuse drugs don't use narcotic drugs we need you alive because when you abuse drugs drugs will abuse you bye bye peace